Hi, this is Sean Broderick for Uncommon Wisdom Daily. Platinum is exceedingly rare. In fact, it's 30 times rarer than gold in nature. And the annual global mine supply of platinum is only about 7 million ounces, less than 10% of the total annual mine production of gold. But while the supply of platinum is extremely limited, demand is going much higher. Platinum is used for catalytic converters in gasoline-powered vehicles. Car sales are seeing a cyclical bounce because many people in America and other parts of the developed world need to replace their old vehicles. In addition, car markets in many parts of the developing world, China, Brazil, Russia, and India included, are still growing. These trends are pointing to a jump in global car sales of 8.5% next year, according to J.D. Power & Associates. And with increased auto sales comes increased demand for platinum. A new report from Morgan Stanley estimates that car manufacturers will use a record $7 billion worth of the precious metal in catalytic converters in 2012. That's 17% more than this year. You would think that this uptick would be a boon for platinum prices, but as you can see, that hasn't been the case, at least so far. While gold has surged nearly 20% this year, and silver is up nearly 3%, platinum and palladium are both down for the year. Platinum by 15% and palladium by more than 19%. Palladium is also used in catalytic converters, and the decline in those two precious metals is largely due to a slowdown in auto sales this year. But as I mentioned, we're likely to see a big turnaround in the sales numbers next year. However, prices are not just determined by demand. Supply is also a factor. Barclays estimates that platinum mine supply will decline next year for the first time since 2008. Rising demand and shrinking supply is a recipe for what I believe will be a big move in platinum prices. In fact, a Bloomberg survey of analysts forecasts a rally of 22% in 2012. So far, we've only considered the impact on platinum demand from auto sales. But that sector only accounts for one-third of the precious metals end market. Demand for industrial uses other than autos rose 30% last year. And then there's investment demand. If you take a look at a chart of ETF holdings of physical platinum over the past five years, you'll see a rapid expansion of investor demand. Yes, it has leveled off recently, but it's still up for the year. Finally, what tells me that platinum is a bargain at its current prices is a comparison with gold. Despite the fact that platinum is much rarer, gold is trading at a higher price. This kind of disconnect in metals markets doesn't happen very often. When it does, it's usually a buying opportunity. To take advantage of this bargain, you can always buy physical platinum from a trustworthy dealer. But there are also ETFs that hold physical platinum. For example, the ETF's physical platinum shares has decent volume and can be a good way to play this market. But as always, make sure that you do your own due diligence before buying any investment. For Uncommon Wisdom Daily, I'm Sean Broderick, and thanks for watching.